Okay, um, hello YouTubers and Facebookers. Uh, it's about six weeks ago, an old, old, old contact of mine out of the blue contacted me with an issue that he had with one of his devices. Um, I said that I would research his problem. We have found the problem. Um, I'm tipping that he's most likely fixed the issue himself, but um, out of the blue, six weeks later, I thought I'd contact him back two weeks ago. So, okay, what I have here is a PC, it's an i5, uh, one terabyte of hard disk space for this system. Obviously, you could use as more, uh, much as you want. Sorry for the stutter there. Um, yeah, so I'll just proceed really quickly to do this video, um, show the bells and whistles. Now, obviously this is a dumb TV, there is no wireless internet connection to it, no camera to it, no nothing, but through the PC I've enabled all this. Um, I've had a workplace injury, I am laid up basically on crutches, I don't know how long I'm going to walk, my foot's pretty buggered. Um, how long, sorry, I don't know how long it is before I walk normal again. Um, so I'm stuck at home. Now, stuck at home is great if you've got the kids here and the wife. Someone to give you headaches. Because you, you, when you've got headaches, you got, it's, you keep them busy. So when you're here alone, though, as I am currently now, it gets boring and you start pacing up and down and, and all that sort of stuff. So. Basically, what I have here is a dumb TV turned into a smart TV, and I will call it, no worries, the ultimate in media entertainment. Now, um, when I started with such a system, I actually, let me just switch this on and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so we're turning the TV on. When I started with this system, I found it quite daunting. There's quite a fair bit of software involved and getting it to talk to each other, the naming conventions. It was a headache to set up, but as you can see, this is a four-year-old Sanio, I don't know what size TV it is. So that's TV, that is live TV as it is. Now, with the system that I'm about to show you, I could actually record this. Um, but why would I? Uh, because I'll show you why I say why would I. So as you can see, the Acer PC is connected directly to the um, TV via a HDMI cable. It's just a shitty HDMI cable. I don't know where I bought it from. I can't remember. But the quality of the cable does matter. You know, they can be expensive, but it's worth it, you know, I think. So, um, enough blabbering on and showing you a PC screen as you've all seen one. So let's start the system. So nice intro, you'll see the bells and whistles. I love this, I reckon it's fantastic. Okay, so if you look through, this is op, op, op going on its own now, so I'll just turn the volume down a bit, okay. The systems that are on this, I've installed personally, I set up the wheel to function, the, the, the front end you see here it was all set up um, by me to the, well, I enabled those systems, I have nothing to do with the graphics or anything like that, but I selected the graphics I wanted to show and this is the end result. Now when you're in wheel mode, you have, um, what would you say, um, the, like a screensaver, it will go through all its uh, individual systems as you'll see in a minute. Um, 
if you have a look at my videos, I, I, I love my arcade games and uh, my game systems. So I've basically enabled what I wanted to play. So here we go, it's going through its own um, screensaver mode and you can just leave your TV on and like this is real eye candy. To me this is fantastic, but anyway, the games are another side of it, I mean there's thousands of games on here. And that's part of what has kept me sane through this little dilemma that I'm going through. But I'll show you the other part now. Now I'm controlling this with my U, um, wireless keyboard. Okay, so yeah, oh look at that. PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, oh, yeah they're all on there. So, oh there we go. Uh, oh, hang on, I have to show you this. Okay, now this is original arcade stuff, old school, you know, something I used to be into as a kid growing up, played all these games, and do they work, you say? Of course they work. Let's put one on the show quickly before we go to the other side of this media centre. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Anyway, get out of that, and get out of that, and back to Cody. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing you to Cody. Now, this is an awesome front end for media entertainment. Um, you can see by the bottom menu, you music, favourites, weather, settings, you know, beautiful pictures. The pictures I selected to put in there as well. Um, but searching right now for music files on this PC. Uh, it's going to come up most likely with all, all the arcade stuff, so I'll quit that. Videos, I don't have any videos stored on here because I don't believe in storing them. Now, what you have is there's various um, streaming sites. They're not big torrents. No, 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 these are quite legitimate. Now, um, they come in, you put them in the system as an add-on. So my add-ons are... Uh, they'll go in the video add-ons. I have NaviX, you know, you could go into that. Um, and hang on, I'll just get out of that. NaviX is like a, an Xbox front end, you could say. And I don't really use it much, but that's one side of it. Then you have like, Phoenix is pretty good. Um, Phoenix TV, Phoenix Sports, you know, Sports Channel, new releases, you know, cartoon channels, you know, there's, there's quite a bit that's interesting, but I never really watch that. I usually go to Specto. Now, Specto, you know, you've got your, obviously your directories here, you've got movies, TV shows, channels. My Specto is where you set up your favourites if you wanted to. You've got latest movies and latest episodes, right? So if you, you know, if you're a real like TV series junkie, you just go to latest episodes and see what comes up in the database. And um, Ash versus Evil Dead Home. Huh? Well, I've never heard of that. Quantico. You know, you, you, there's endless. Endless, 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 endless. There's old school, there's new school, there's there's everything on here. It's just unimaginable. So, then you have the, you use the backspace key to go back to your menus. You could go to movies. Now, movies is a bit daunting because we can sit here now. What do you want to watch? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. No one can make up their mind what they want to watch because of the availability and the quantity that is available to stream. It's just awesome. So, uh, go to the latest movies, for instance. Now, De Palma, I've never heard of that. The Chosen. Okay, A Bride for whatever. Born to Win, never heard of that. Okay, Zero Days. Now, I don't want to do that. We'll go to Search Tools Movies, okay? Movies, and we'll go to Most Popular. Right. 
And this is what we do all the time. There's just so much available. I like the Sully, Captain America, and Civil War. Okay, we'll take a look at that. You know, see what that's all about. So here we go, it gives you uh, the uh, percentage of the load. And you'll see it's quite quick. Mind you, I don't have any kids leeching the connection right now, so it's not too bad. It's not frozen, it's just verifying its connection. Okay, usually within the um, 30 second range, it will get you to the databases. And here we go. Captain America Civil War, whatever the hell it's called. Turn a little volume up, I reckon. Okay, so as you can see, well, like I said, it's awesome quality. Now, I'm just gonna get out of this because I don't want to um, put you through the pain of watching a movie. So I'm just backspacing until I get out. I'm going to quit, enter, all off my wireless keyboard, and that's done. Okay, so to finish it off, can this system record live TV? Yes, it can. It can record your events, you can schedule your events, you can do whatever you like. It is basically a PVR or a DVR. Okay, but realistically, why the hell? Would you want to store anything when it's this freely available? I mean, yeah, look, a Foxtel subscription, repeat, 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 ads, 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 ads. Here, direct, you control it, you watch what you want to watch. There's parental um, uh, things you can invoke so kids can't watch it. There's no porn on here, which is great, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, that's another thing, so you can rely on it. Now, I'm pretty sure that you could get a remote control to, uh, like a TV remote control, such as this one here that controls that TV, hooked up to it, so you could basically control it off that, but why would you? Because you need the uh, wireless keyboard to play the games. You need the, I have an Xbox controller hooked up to it um, as well. And the Xbox controller is mapped to each individual system by a uh, program called XPatter. So you basically can configure the control to do all your gaming as well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's what's available. Um, I made this video for a person to look at, um, to see what he thinks. Like I said, I'm laid up, I've got nothing to do at the moment. Um, if you've got an old PC at home, say no older than uh, three, four years maybe, um, we could set this up for you. If you haven't got one, uh, close to your work in Nunawading, there is a place I can send you to with some decently priced second-hand jobs, like 200 bucks will get you the PC. Obviously you'll have to buy your wireless stuff, which is the keyboard and the mouse, and a wired Xbox controller. Now they're getting harder and harder to find the wired ones. It's best you use a wired one. Um, I haven't done it with a wireless because I haven't got a wireless connector to this PC. I could get a wireless and it will work, I just don't know what the flaws are in that system but I'm pretty sure that'd be pretty pretty good so anyway I'll post this video up and I'll link it to you like I said two days ago in a message I sent you online and you just tell me what you think now the best part about this is you're freeing up all your storage space because you don't need to store anything no more DVDs no more going through and deleting and thinking about what you're going to delete and what you want to keep and all this sort of stuff because it's just freely available. Um, 
you know, it, it's it's a matter of choice, I guess. And but it, it is a daunting system in the way. I will warn you: if you go down this track, man, you will just be blown away by what by what you can actually get your hands on to, to watch. You know, it's just yeah, it just becomes daunting. This has been a lifesaver for my mind while I'm stuck here at home with no one. It's kept me entertained, and I will vouch this to be probably the best entertainment system I've ever built. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be in touch.